Hi, I'm Jake Burkett from Graylian Games, and this is another official Let's Play of Shadowhand. So, uh, last time we got to Chapter 6, and I'm going to play that in a moment. Um, I think Chapter 6 is a good one because it's when the sort of gameplay really begins to open out and you have to properly analyse uh, what the enemy's um, sort of special defences and attacks are and build your character's sort of outfit and weapon choices accordingly in order to defeat them. So, um, and there's a lot more cool items that get introduced. Um, but I just wanted to show you something that I added recently. Above the chapter cards that I've beaten, you can see the hand numbers and what sort of level of stars I got for each one. So that's a new feature since the last update, um, last video, and we put that on Steam a couple of days ago. <coughs> Anyway, let's get on with chapter 6. So I'm going to skip the story, but basically we're holding up a coach. So this is the coach man. Let's check the chapter goals. Um, 12 stars, 1000 gold, and defeat the chapter boss. Uh, let's hover over him. So he's got a 10% defense against land weapons, so we need to be careful what weapons we use. There's a little oak leaf next to where it says land weapons and, and we can check the various weapons to see if they've got that oak leaf on them. Uh, note that sea weapons have got a, an anchor by them. Um, he also resists bleeding so there's no point using say our cutlass which does bleeding damage. Um, he's also got a t he, he's got a stunning um, blunderbuss so let's just have a look. 20% chance to stun and he's got a grog bomb and he might drink this potion midway. Also there's something in the middle there which is actually a wig powder which we saw on the last chapter could do stunning. Um, so let, anyway let's let's just check out what we've got. Land weapons. Right let's just check our equipment. So this isn't a land weapon it's a piercing weapon so that, that's quite a good choice it doesn't do bleeding. Um, that's a sea weapon so again good choices. What would have been a bad choice would be say this weapon um, because it's got the little oak leaf on there, it means it's a land weapon. So he could slightly resist that. This wouldn't have been a good choice because it does bleeding and he might maybe resist that. Um, though, you know, he's only got a small chance to resist them, so it's not major, but I might as well pick the optimum weapons, which are these two. If you recall from last time, this rapier does uh, a counter-attack 30% of the time as well, so that's pretty cool. Um, Outfit wise, he's got a stunning blunderbuss, so I've got this on the dashing waistcoat, 20% chance to resist stun. Every little helps. Um, gear wise, I could try and stun him with uh, this wig powder. We've got grog bombs. Uh, if I take this, it will actually boost the piercing ability of our rapier, which is a piercing weapon. So, yeah, let's see how we get on. Hopefully, I can beat him first time, but I might not be able to. Let's see. Oh, what have we got here? This is a new card as well, Fox's Cunning. Um, I'll show you how that works in a moment. So, Jewel. Jewel. Okay, good. We go first. I can do the three, but that's that's all. Um, I'll show you this now. So, oh, sorry, no, no, hang on, Karen. Two, uh, three, two. Okay. So, we've charged some weapons up. We've got an attack bonus going. But... I can't carry on, but if I use this, there's a 50% chance, um, if I use it on a card, that it will turn it into one that I can use. So if I've got a 3, I obviously want to see a 2 or a 4. Now some players don't seem to read this properly and they think it always works in their favour, but no, it's a 50% chance plus the finesse attribute, which I do have a few um, extra points in. So, let's try it out on this 6, and let's get a 2 or a 4. Damn, I got a three. <laughs> Smack bang in the middle. Okay, um, this is a piercing weapon. That's a piercing weapon, but this one does more damage, so I'm going to use this. Yeah, she threw a bomb. Okay, um, it's got quite a lot of health as well, and a healing potion, so it's going to be reasonably formidable. Lucky, yeah, that's what I want. Uh, we've still got this ready. You know what? I could use it now, but I could take this so that it's going to do even more damage in a minute. Let's do that. Okay, so we've got this little buff icon and it says pierce chance 100% plus 100% for five turns. So, um, okay. 
might be able to get a combo here if we do it carefully. Yeah, nine zero one. Zero one two three. Back down to two one. Uh yeah, that one. Oh, okay. That's actually pretty good. We haven't got any wild cards, so I can't extend it. I could try and blast a couple of cards off, but it's not a major advantage. Though I have left him quite a good run if he if he gets the right card in a minute. Could try a shuffle. Yeah, let's do a shuffle. Um, well, we've got a three. It's better than nothing. So, um, if we do that, it's going to do the full 16 because it's going to—it's a piercing weapon and it's going to get through all of his four defense because we've got this buff active. So let's have a go. Yeah, nice. That was effective. Five. Can we do anything? <clears throat> Just a six, five. That's all. Um, yeah, we can use that. We could try to stun him. Why don't I show you how that works? Um, yeah. So he's stunned now for several turns. We can see that with the icon over here. Stunned for two turns. Um, he actually just missed a turn. So... Okay. We've still got the piercing thing active. So we'll use that. Nothing. At least we can use this again and do seven more. Got it for one more turn. So if we can't charge any weapons up now, it's basically gone. Yeah, it's gone. Uh, could burn a couple of cards off. The risk is it will burn these, which doesn't get us much. These could reveal something. I'm going to do it. Yes, a four. Ah, well, not enough to charge. Um... I could throw a bomb, but it's a bit of a waste. We've got loads of health. He's pretty low, although he has got a potion. And he's only got one weapon, so he can't really attack us constantly, like if he had two weapons. Let's just move on. Oh, I forgot something really important. Um, so, when the uh, the buff wore off from this Swordmaster's tipple, because it's alcohol, it gives us a debuff. So... Our weapons now take 50% longer to charge for three turns, which is a bit of a bummer, actually. Um, <clears throat> so the charge has gone up to eight for that weapon and up to six for that one. That would teach me for drinking on the job. Okay, we've got the fresh run of the cards. And let's do the one zero route and back up. That's all for now. Um, I think... Oh, he's got a wig powder as well. I didn't notice that. He hasn't used it, though. It's kind of weird. He might do now if he doesn't... Oh, no, he's charged his weapon, so... Ouch. That was bad. Counter-attack came in handy there from our rapier. 30% chance. Hmm, nothing. Could throw a bomb. Still think it's a bit of a waste. I think I can handle it. Oh dear, spoke too soon. Ooh. Yeah, that's left us reasonably punished. Good time for the bomb, maybe, because I can't do any other cards. Yeah, I'm going to do it. That's all. Oh well. I have used up all of my special abilities as well, so... Well, we know under that 5 there's a 9. I can just about see it, so there's no point picking that one up. I could do the 5. There's no point getting that 4 because there's a 7. So it's either one, really. Because I want that, I'm going to do the 5, 6. Alright. Not too bad. A small combo. So he's only got two health. We should be to boss this. Oh yeah, of course I've got that ready. So goodbye, coachman. I feel a little bit bad for him. I mean, he was just doing his job. 
but you know he had some pretty cool boots which give us one defense so that's a new item he's got a new belt uh, a belt which gives us stealth plus 10 some money and a joker bit more plot I'm gonna skip that and guess what we've got even more items so this is pretty cool it adds an 8 and a 9 to the stock um, so that means effectively there's two more cards per hand we can play with um, some more gold so some eye protection this is the first one that has an actual defense value and a cloak now this cloak will help deflect animal attacks which won't come in useful yet but will later on so Oh, and that's rats, dogs, and leeches. So I'm going to just equip that stuff. Um, this is the new passive ability. We'll have that, please. Outfit-wise, yep, we need the boots. Watch our defense go up to four. Um, might as well slap the belt on for a bit more stealth. And, I mean, I could keep this for Guile, which gives me more jokers and stuff, or that. And frankly, I like defense, so I'm going to go for that. We probably should have had these trousers on if we were going to take that Swordmaster's tipple because it may have given us, well, cancelled out the ill effects. Um, we don't know if we need this or this top yet until we encounter the next fight, so that's okay. I could sell some of this stuff, but I don't really care much about that one. Oh, I can't sell it now because the shop's closed. Um, oh, I'll stick the cloak on. Yeah, might as well. Unused gear slots. No, we don't want to exit. We'll have one of everything. Like a pizza. Right. Um, something new is this card here is a lantern card. And these are locked. So these are dark cards. And if I pick the lantern up and plonk it on them. Oh, it's got this kind of cool effect I coded where like a, you know, nice shiny lantern. Okay. Yeah, so it unlocks all of those, and we need to obviously find another lantern to unlock those. Can't do anything at the moment. I'm going to save the Joker. I always save them for jewels, to be honest. Um, okay, zero, one, two, th which three do we want? This one, look, I could have rushed into that, and I'd have missed the three, two, three, four, five, six combo, which is quite nice. I can. That's it, though. Could use the Joker and pick up a eight or something but it's hardly worth it or the one two uh, wh why don't we use the fox's cunning let's use it on one of these sixes so give me a seven or um, a five yes okay good back down to six or up to eight well I, I don't like having so many of the same card because it limits the amount of runs we can get so I'm gonna pick up a six okay that's pretty good combo of eleven uh, yeah Also, we have to earn a thousand gold this hand. Let's check the goals up here. Mm, we've got 935 to go, so quite a lot. These aren't mandatory in normal mode, these goals. They're just sort of fun optional goals. They do it to defeat the boss. Um, but in, in hard, very hard mode, you have to complete these goals. And they're harder as well, the goals. Okay, let's clear a few off. That's fine. Nothing. Okay, pick up an eight. Okay, we found the lantern. Yep. Do I want to go down the six route or the eight route? It's, um, six because we've got a five, so that's all. Could shuffle, might might as well. There's some gold under there. Look. Okay. Oh, a joker. Yeah, I could I could use the Joker now. Might as well. Look, um got two of them. Um nine zero nine. We've got some gold. Plus fifty. Plus it's gonna be multiplied by this, so that's probably like a hundred and twenty or something now. Yeah, a good little combo. Again, I could use the Joker for the two three four. But I I think I'll save it. Yeah, okay. Oh. Loads of cars left, so it shouldn't be too challenging to clear this pile. Yeah. 
So let's see what the multiplier did, 2.7. So we had 120, 2.7, 324. So that is definitely eating into this goal very nicely. So it looks like we've got a suit lock. We need three diamonds, loads of dark cards. Um, so let's play a nine, no use. I think if I recall correctly, this hand is reasonably challenging. Um, yeah, let's keep working away this lock. Uh, let's go for the four five. You know what? I could put the five back and do three two. But I won't have unlocked that. Let's do it. Uh, oh, now I can do the four five. There we are. Studious use of um, undo there. Could blast some cards off. Might as well. Um, got the six. Wasn't fabulous, but better than nothing. Because sometimes that's what you get. Nothing. Yeah, let's use this. What do we want to clear though? I really want to get to these lanterns, so let's try and clear the five because if we get a nine, we can basically clear any of those to all this. So we want this to be like a nine um, or a one. Yeah, okay, a one's fine. We'll keep clearing. Yeah. Can't do anything else. Could use that Joker. But no, I will save it. Excellent. So it doesn't really matter which order I clear them in. Okay. Just plain old zero, really. We, we need something to clear these. this bunch. There's a clear run there. For some reason, I was just thinking about Poldark, which is a BBC show. My wife and I really enjoy it, actually. And, um, uh, you know, it's set sort of in this time period. I don't think they've ever had any highway men or highway women in it so far. But um, it's a really good costume drama and we enjoy it a lot. Set in Cornwall, which is near to us. Um, <coughs> we're in Dorset in the UK and... The next county to the west is Devon, famous for scones and cream, I guess. And then we've got Cornwall on the far west, which is a nice holiday destination and famous for Cornish pasties and surfing. I probably really mischaracterized those two counties now for anyone who lives there. Sorry. Well, I mean, our county's famous for, like, you know, cows and mud and nice scenery. That's about it, really. Nothing. Okay, we've got the two, so we can do a little run here. Let's get rid of the three. Ooh, let's go back. Three, two, one, zero, nine, eight, seven. Hey, hey! Takes me a while to warm up. Right. Oh, this, by the way, is the first chapter with eight hands. So it's quite a long chapter. We've got a few of these puzzle hands and then um, some fights at the end. All right, so we clearly want to reach that, but it's locked down, which is a bummer. So we need to find a key, and there's a key suit lock there. So a zero isn't worth much. This has got some quite atmospheric sounds, this level. You can hear the wind and the trees cracking away. It's cool. There's the odd owl occasionally as well. No zeros. Not touching the joker. That mask is better than using that five, but that's it. Mm -hmm. no. Oh yeah, that opened up too, so that's quite handy. There's a key there, so I really should go that way. Nice. Let's get try and get the lantern out. Brilliant. Mm. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, that reveals the eight, so it might set up a run for us, whereas that doesn't really help us much. Yeah. Which nine do we want? Well, might be to get... Yeah. Okay, good. I need to have a little think about this. We've got a plain old nine over there, but we've got these two to reveal something up there. That's like eight, seven, six, and it ends, but I'm pretty sure I can do a f fancy kind of sequence here. Nine, eight, okay, I could do the nine, but I'm going to go down. That'll do. A bit closer to unlocking that suit lock. As I've got a combo going, I'm going to try and use this, but what do I want to get? out of it. We've got a three and a four. If we get a five I can clear those two or that one. So let's let's get rid of the nine. It, like you don't just use it on any random card this. It's best if you look at what else is there and sort of plan ahead. Yeah it's progress. Not enough. Blast a couple off. It might blast that, which is pointless, but it might get rid of that, which is okay. But there's a nice little run here, and to be honest, we need only one card in that range. So I'm going to just keep playing. Oh. Okay, so we've got the four. Three, four, three, two, one. Nice. Um, yeah, well, you know what? I will blast these off. Oh, you know what? It's a bit of a waste, because I've got a bazillion and one cards left in the stock. So let's keep going through the stock. Mm. Oh, missed one. That's okay. Good old undo. What do we got next? That's three. Okay. Right, we've got the 12 stars. We're doing pretty well so far. And we don't need much gold. Oh, we've got a zero a spare card. I'm going to keep that. A nine is no use to us. Um, could do a shuffle, but there's not many face-up cards, so it's better to use shuffle when there's more face-up cards. Could blast a couple off, though. Didn't help. Yeah, that's okay. Hmm. Right, so don't really want the nine. We'll do this sequence. Yes, okay, that's better. So we've got a couple of those. That's got quite a large number on it. Shuffle, maybe. Yeah, maybe. I think it will actually show us where the dark cards, sorry, where the lanterns are hidden. Okay, let's just put my mouse on it. So it's that one and that one. So if we can get rid of that nine, we'll get a lantern. Hopefully you get the idea about how I'm using these to the best of their abilities. There's a sort of basic use, but then if you time them just right, uh, you can you can get better results. Probably should have used that zero, really. But better to use it when I've got a combo. I could use it now. Yeah. Oh, that was dumb, wasn't it? Let's put that one back. Ugh. It was still pretty dumb. Oh well. Yeah. Okay, so I used the undo there to unlock a better card. Okay, we've got a little run building up here if we get the right card. Yeah. Eight, nine. Which one? Let's go for that one because we want to get the dark, the, the, the lantern. Eight, nine, zero, nine. That's cool. Again, a small run here. Uh, I think the four, three. Hmm. But then I can get the dark card. Let's do that. 
Still haven't got rid of this. Ooh, we're running lo dangerously low on cards. This might be a bust, this level. Okay. Yeah. No, we're nearly there. Nearly there. This could be a good time to use that. It's just charged, so... Give me, uh, it didn't help. But it's actually made a small sequence, so if we get the right card... Damn it. Dare I use the Joker? To be honest, I'm not going to, but that would be a good time to use it to clear those two. Um, just because I've beat the star goal already, so if I wanted to obsess about getting three stars, that would be when I used it. Or just retry. Alright. So we've got some gold hidden under these two. Hmm. Small sequence here. They're counting down. Oh, and a uh, Swordmaster's Tipple. What do we want? That, that or the gold? Well, we, we probably... How are we doing for the gold goal? We're getting pretty close. oak go for that oak just to clear that but then this one reveals another card well I guess that one technically does let's do that one nothing I think I recall this being quite a hard level to get all this gold now I could try and clear this to get to that but this has made we've made more progress over here so I feel like keeping on going with that one that's not gonna unlock that that doesn't really do anything so yeah. I want the things okay five six Ooh. hmm that I don't think I could have done anything else. Um, shuffle. We've got some decent runs here though. Two, three, four. Yeah, we'll shuffle. I want to see if I can get this gold. No. But we made progress. And progress is good. Now, this would be a good time to blast. If it blasts that one off, it didn't. Oh well. But we're closer. And we've got 21, 20 cars left in the stock. Okay. Did I? Yeah. Let's do that. Damn, we need this gem. Hmm. I've got loads of cars left there, so I'm going to keep going in the hope that we find the right one. Blimey. That was a big waste. Okay. That will come in handy for fights later. I might not be able to reach this gold. I haven't got any power-ups. I've got a seven. Mustn't forget I've got the seven. Damn it. We're running low. Ooh. Yeah. Haha. -ha. That's going to come in handy if there's nothing under here. A five. We don't need it. Okay, good. So, now we've got another fight. Remember, we don't just leap in. We need to find out what they've got. So they deflect pistol and musket. Well, we've got a pistol armed. And if they've got a 25% chance to deflect it, it's obviously not a good idea. What are they using? They are using soldier sword plus three. It's just a basic damaging weapon, no fancy properties. And they've got two healing potions, so they're quite going to be quite sturdy, a lot of health. And there's a defense potion we can try and reach there, and we need to stop them reaching it. So, what have we got? Four defense. 
so this this is worth having because it is 25% chance to pierce and it will get through his four otherwise it's only going to do three damage we said we don't want that by the way you can drag them off or just double click to remove them um, that's not very good anymore that weapon so we could fight him back with a sword of his own type um, or let's see hang on that charges in four and does nine so that's pretty good or use this for the bleeding ability which does make it pretty cool hmm this is a quick weapon why don't we have this as our sort of slower weapon let's try that I think that's a good combination um, we don't need to change our defenses uh, we haven't got I'm not taking any potions so oh, I could take one of those again nah I'm gonna save it yeah all right Jewel. let's see if we can take him down nothing oh damn well maybe a good time to take defense but I'd rather wait until he's nearly charged good time to chuck a bomb but I'd rather save it until I'm desperate. Yeah, let's carry on. Oh, I've got the seven, haven't I? I could use that to give me a head start, but I'm not I'm not convinced it would get me that far. Okay, great. I've got the defense. Ha <laughs> ha. Now it won't go there because I've only got three slots, so it's gone straight into my inventory. If I'd used one of these, it would have gone into there. Okay, right. Nothing. A six. Nope. Nothing on the four. Right. At least we've got that. So yeah, we can might as well do that. Make a bit of progress. Hmm. He's also made progress. Ah, oh, yes, sweet counterattack. Mustn't forget that when you think it looks like low damage, it is, but it charges fast and it's got counterattack, which doesn't even need any charge. So we've got some zeros or some eights we can roll with here. I'm gonna do that one. Nothing. Mm. Let's see if we can do a bleed. Nope. Okay. Oh, and a lucky card kicked in there. We might better get a pierce, maybe. Or we could use that and get that, but it's... Mm, maybe it's worth it. Because we can get an attack bonus, I think. I don't know how many cards I removed. No, let's carry on. Pierce, nice. Okay. Cutlass is ready again. Let's leave those eights going to be pretty awkward for him. All right, nothing. Um, this is a good time for the defensive remedy, actually, because he is nearly charged with his weapon. So, oh, or I could try and do something with that. I don't think I need to, so good. Now you can see we've got eight defense, so his sword only does a puny one. Haha, <laughs> take that. And it lasts quite a long time. Um, maybe a good time for this, maybe, but, oh, yeah, okay, let's do it, yes, and we got a little run, and we unlocked a load of stuff, so that was kind of super cool, so we want either a chance to pierce, um, or more damage, and a, some bleeding chance. I think we'll go with that. Didn't bleed. Yeah, take that potion. Wow, he's taken two potions. All right, so now we can sort of see where he's at. He's, he's got 15 more than us. We've got a defensive remedy and he's only got one weapon. So I think we should be able to do this. We've even got a spare potion. But you know, anything can happen. RNG. Nothing. All right, new layouts. Again, I want to try and get this before he does. 
I've got another wild card. Okay, spare card. Ooh. I should have remembered where that key was. Yeah, I've got to unlock both anyway to get the key. Dare I let him get that? I'm going to risk it. Bleed. Nice. So, he's going to bleed. It's going to do... It basically does 20% of his full health, which was 50 or whatever. So, 3 damage for 2 more turns. He's already had 1 bleed. That's 2 more turns. Okay, we can probably use that 9. Still can't get that. Bit worried he might get it, but... Pierce, sweet. Ah, oh, damn, he got it. And he's taken it. Well, good job he's bleeding, meanwhile. Okay. That's it. Could, can I use this for? Yeah, I'm going to use this. Um, well, we can only get the three. But then we can go down or back up. Mm, this reveals two. But nothing. Okay. If you get bleeding again, by the way, when somebody's already bleeding, all it does is extend the length of time. It doesn't sort of stack and add up to more bleeding. Um, I had many different ways to make that work, but that was what I settled on in the end. So we just need that dark card there. Um, let's keep see if we can bleed him again. Nope. Finessed. Great. Mm. Piercing. Yeah. It worked. Nothing yet, but this will work. It's definitely getting punished. Good. And unlock. That's all for now. Okay. Ooh, all these options available. We could shuffle and try and get um, a combo going. Damn. We didn't get one. What about dropping that in now? Yes, an attack bonus. So 11. It's just going to be one off. Oh, yeah, okay. I forgot about the defense. Right. Oh, but this. Is that going to work? No, it's not. Still, it's getting close. Okay, then. Goodbye. Overkill. I think I explained overkill before. That's when you defeat them using a combo. And the overkill value, that was the best one yet actually, is based on how much below zero you take their health. So we've got one more hand. I'm guessing it's the boss. Ah, Scarlet Sash. Boost knife piercing chance. Okay, well actually I sold my knife ages ago, so that's not much use to us. Let's check out his stats. Resist pierce. So there's no point us using the rapier. This weapon's still good. What about weapons? Chance to pierce. High chance. So he's got a brown best musket, 30% chance to pierce. And a bayonet with 50% chance. So we're going to get quite a lot of damage here. And a defensive potion. So we, we don't want a piercing weapon. That's piercing too. Let's just go for plain old soldier sword with fast charging and just standard damage. Yeah. That's the sash, but we don't really need it when we've got a knife. We haven't got anything to protect against piercing, unfortunately. So we'll just go with high defense and hope for the best. Not that that protects against def piercing either. Um, hmm. Again, this isn't much use against piercing because no matter what my defense is, the piercing weapon will get through. So maybe two bombs. Or two health potions. Let's try that. Okay. We go first. 
bit of stealth. Um, hmm. So not really much in it, to be honest. Oh, okay. Um, can we unlock one of these? Yeah. And charge the weapon up with the old sword. Got to remember that. I keep forgetting to um, pick swords. Sword suit cards, I should say. Right. Um, hmm. Yeah. That's it for now. Damage or chance to bleed? What's he? Oh, he's taking the defense. Let's do the chance to bleed because if we get that, um, we didn't. It would have been good because he would have taken damage this whole time. Oh, he's going to blast us and it did pierce. Yowch. It's possible we're going to lose this and have to retry, but that's okay. The game is not designed so that you can sort of win everything all the time. Um, even if you make the right decisions, sometimes it's just bad luck. But you influence your choices with how you play. Um, I've got this Joker stacked up as well. Could use that. Both of these are charged, so let's try and get some bleeding in again. Nope. Ooh, at least it didn't pierce. Um... Yeah, I'll save the Joker for when I can actually do more damage later on. Oh no. We don't need a potion yet, but it's looking like we could do with one soon. Now, I might use my undo here, because I just want to look under there. It was worth it, see? Um, okay. Do I want to try and get a combo? Yeah, I've got a three, so it's going to try and put either a two on. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. Let's have a go. Um, get rid of one of the nines. left so this is a good time for a potion for sure um all oh right both charged i think i was just trying to remember if i explained that right earlier basically you click on the card you want and it will change it to yeah one higher or lower than the bottom one i'm pretty sure i explained that hmm. plain damage or try to do the bleeding or take a potion it's just that he could hit with that and do full 10 damage if it, if it pierces. It's not that likely, but yeah, and do you know what? He's got 31 health. You know, I, I use the weapons first. Still got that damn defense potion. Okay, it's worn off. It's worn off. Uh, let's go for another hit. He's quite far off being able to strike us yet. All right, time for the... Ooh. I could clear that card. Yeah. Then I get a fresh layout. That was worth doing. So I've got a 0, 1 or an 8, 7, 8. Oh, I've got... Mm. 0, 1 and it ends. 8, 7, 8. Slightly longer. So... I could do the 6, but let's, let's clear an 8. Oh, you know, I wasn't thinking straight. I should have gone for a sword card if there was one. I don't think there was though. Okay. Mm. Still haven't used a potion. Got some bleed it going. That's going to do at least nine damage. It's done three already, so six more. Okay, that's charged it nicely. Bit nervous. Let's do. Damn it. 
Oh, I didn't pierce. That was risky. Um, too risky. Can't do anything with this one. Could slap down the Joker and go six, seven, eight, maybe, or five, six, seven, eight, actually. Um, that will charge that up, but it won't kill him. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this out of safety. Ooh, good job. Okay. I need another one. Um, bleeding's finished. Actually, we need one strike doing a decent amount of damage. So let's try and use the Joker now. So I'm going to go with five. Yeah, six. We can do a five, six again. This is perfect. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, yeah, he's, he's finished. We'd go with the, that one. Nice. A bit tense, but we got there in the end with the use of potions. Looks like we're going to jail, though. We've been captured. So we've got some stuff. Um, we can boost our character attributes, but there's no shot because we're straight off to jail. I'm going to keep going with my guy on finesse build. Um, yeah, okay. Unused gear slots. Let's just pop in probably a wig powder. Always useful to be able to stun. So that's it for chapter six. Um, on the next video, we're going to jail, and I'll see you soon. Bye.